Golden State standards obviously weren't very good shooting under 40%. 8 of 35 from 3, and the 35 is significant. In fact, it is the most three-point attempts ever in an NBA Finals game. That's another new NBA Finals record. But uh, Steph said something interesting when he was asked about the two overtime games that I want to ask you guys about, uh, particularly, uh, well, you've all three been in, in big playoff series. Do you believe in momentum from game to game? In other words, does the the outcome of game one affect game two, or are they completely separate in your mind? Only if you're 100% beaten. What I mean by that, you're playing hard, and this guy's just killing me. Now, now Chef, uh, Steph missing all those shots, no way he feels beaten. Now he feels disrespected <laughs> when you say Del Vadova shut you down. So, Kenny, you said Who he said wasn't that? up. Who yeah. said that? Oh. The guy asked him the, the, the question. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> he asked him a question. Let me translate it. <laughs> Del Vadova shut you down. Steph got mad. Kenny said he wasn't up this game. I guarantee he's going to be up in game That's, that's the difference between a, a player's point of view and the media <laughs> no, point of view. He, yes. he asked a question about if Del Vadova did anything, and he said he shut him down. No, 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 he no, 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 he, no. He was mad. He was no, mad. He, he was mad. definitely, no, he he was mad. definitely mad. No, he, he did not. He said, what did he do to, to, to anything to that every other player did? Yes, thank you. Did he use that phrase, shut him down? Well, I mean, that's what he was saying, though. Exactly. That's the interpretation part. you got to break it down, Momentum thing, is that? Yeah, I mean, you know, to get to this point, you know, these teams have – you know, they're the best in the league. And right. so a uh, losing on your home court, look, they lost to Memphis on their home court in game two and went back and Down won the series, one, yeah. uh, Golden State. So, uh, you know, I, I think back, as Shaq said, last year in the finals when San Antonio went down there and beat them game three and four. I mm-hmm. thought after game four, as Shaq would say, Miami was defeated. Golden State's not defeated right now. Right. As Steph said, they're confident. They feel like, you know what, we had this game. We can go down here. We're still confident we can get this series. Yeah, you know what the funny thing? I always say, as a player, belief in momentum is only if you believe in it. Okay. Okay. Be- so you, do you, you believe know what I mean? Say it again. It's a, belief it again. in momentum is only if you believe in it. Kim because Kadamas, ladies and gentlemen. Very it, zen. As, as a player, if you say, hey, we can't get back. No, they, they got the – you'll never get back. And if you think that your momentum is taking you into game two, it will carry you into game two with right. some confidence. So you, as a player, but as a broadcaster analyst, I look at it and go, it has no bearing on it because there's too many variables right. because you have 12 guys who you have to figure out their psyche as a team. So I would say no as an analyst. But as an individual, it's only if you believe in it. I tend to agree with you. I do believe there are facets of an individual game that carry over uh, for instance, you think Belon, yeah. Do you think LeBron James believe in momentum? No, I don't no think question. he cares. No, right, he doesn't believe in no, that. No, I don't think he But do you think he believes now? he dictates that, the terms well, of so much of what happens. But does he the believe now he has the momentum? Yes. Probably yes. so. See what yes. I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah, believes yeah, only when it, it's only the belief in what it. you have in it. I do believe elements of a game carry over, and one of the ones that the Warriors can feel good about tonight was just how good Klay Thompson was uh, really from the get-go. Without Klay, they would, they would have been down, I don't know, 15 or 20 at one point in this game. You know, he came out hot. He took a lot of tough shots that went in. He really took advantage of Della Vadova, especially when they had him on the post. But, you know, this guy has a beautiful jump shot. He got three yeah. happy, too, though. Yeah, yeah he, he got did. three happy. He did, but, you know, his stroke is good. He made a lot of made a lot of crazy fouls. I think, you know, uh, stunted his momentum just a little bit. But when he got back in, he heated back up quickly. But, uh, kick, Kenny makes a great point. He got really three happy. Because he was shooting just as well from the two-point line as he been better from the two-point line than he was at times for the three. So then he he got three happy. I, I you know obviously we say Steph got three happy. He left 40 points basically on the board. You know missing 13 threes. He left 40 points. If we, Grant and I were talking, if he makes four or five of those yeah. shots, that's 15 points that he just gets, and then it's a different ball game. He has to. I, and I still feel he's the best player in the world. And, you know, it's hard to criticize the MVP at any point. Right. But he's always been loose with the basketball. And that, to me, was bigger than anything else, his ability to turn the ball over in key moments that he could improve upon. So if anything he improves, improves upon going into next season is his assist-to-turnover ratio in key moments. Maybe not throughout the game, but in key moments, he doesn't have to be that loose with the basketball. That was something Kerr emphasized with the entire team this season. Did you just say Steph's the best player in the world? He did. He's the MVP. He did, right? Well, He's the best player in the world. Does one mean the other? Well, I, I think this year it does. Oh, okay. This year it means that. We know Le- Le- LeBron James is always going to have Nash his Was Steve Nash the best player in the world when he was MVP? He was the best player in the world that minute. 
He was the best player. He was the best player in 2005, 2006. I was, huh? I was waiting for that. <laughs> I, I would say one year he was, I, the other I, year he got voted. 